Do y'all ever have those projects you just kind of fall into accidentally? This is going to be one of those videos, and I'm really, really, really excited about it. Um, Prime Day had a set of these little fog lamps for, uh, I believe I paid a little over $30, like $30.41 or something like that. Um, originally bought it for the F800, uh, put on the crash bars, you know, all the adventure points, I guess. But um, this was just too perfect to not do. So I'm gonna walk you through how, how we're installing this little fog lamp on the Navi and I'm really, really excited about it. All right, I mentioned the lights were about 30 bucks. So there's two of them that comes with it for 30. So this is one that's not on the bike right now. Um, pretty much everything else I, I ended up having. So this was a random wiring harness that we're gonna chop up and use for the, the cable and the sheathing. Uh, so JIS bits and a little ratcheting bit holder to take off the bodywork. One to three of your favorite beverages. Um, hardware pack, little light switch. 10 millimeter bolts or a socket step drill um, this is just a random piece of metal little strap galvanized strap that i'm going to use to make a holder for the light switch some tin snips and a grinder to help do that a little bit of paint some wiring doodads and wire strippers and crimpers and that should be all that we need to get that going um couple important things with this wiring harness though there will be an inline fuse um, this light runs off of dc so we're going to go directly from the battery I, I have a relay harness in here i'm probably not going to use it because that's just a, a lot of extra wiring for not much benefit so let's uh go over to the bike and i'll show you how this will mount up so this is my test fit of the light um pretty good clearance there adequate clearance there it might bounce a little bit but it shouldn't be getting too hot i wouldn't think initially i was planning on using the two holes that the uh reflector came off of but got to looking and sorry for my hand in there there was a, a a bolt right there that just aligned perfectly with this stock bracket from the lamp i'm just like why why make something new when all i had to do was put in this is just a nylon spacer from, uh, I believe it was actually a TV mount um, that I had laying around, and then a longer bolt. And that was uh, all it took. So I'm gonna actually remove this. Uh, I wanna paint this bracket real quick. And then we'll pop off the headlight shroud. I'm thinking I might put a little hole right here under the headlight bucket um, to get that wiring inside the cluster and a little bit cleaner. And We'll get going. All right, so this is that bracket. Um, and I forgot to mention when I was going over what you need, sorry, that you do need this longer bolt and some kind of a spacer. Um, this is probably about a centimeter, uh, half an inch or so of a spacer. And that was all it needed to clear the headlight adjuster and that sort of thing. So um, I'm gonna get this quick shot of paint, then pop it back in. Real quick sidebar, if y'all have never painted in a shoebox, uh, it works great. Just a little twisty tie. You can spin it around, just twirl the pencil around. No overspray, no mess. Love it. While the paint is drying, we are going to get the headlight bucket off. One, two, three, four screws, and that should be off. The headlight bucket is off, and I went ahead and made a little mark right here on where I want to start drilling. Um, it's a pretty thin cable, but it does have a little bit of a sheath on it. So it shouldn't have to be a terribly big hole, but um, yeah, nothing like drilling on your stock plastics to make you nervous. We'll see how this goes. All right, the hole is drilled and there should be enough room for it to kind of squish back and fit around the, uh, the chrome headlight guard there, so. Now that we have that done, um, I'm gonna pull off the side panel and start working on some wiring for it. Um, if I remember right, two screws to pull off that, and 
one here, one here, one there, one there, one there. I think there's one back here somewhere from her. Yep, right there. So that is a number two JIS bit so that we don't strip anything and that'll pop right off pretty quick. Okay, harness is done. So, positive spade, negative spade, little fuse, um, quick disconnect, because I like those. Comes along, that'll go into the head bucket here, following the original path. Um, this positive then goes up to the switch, comes back down, and then comes into the light. Um, I have those flipped, but um, this is just all temporary anyway. And that goes under the light. Um, as far as the path on the bike goes, it'll go positive, negative. There's this nice opening here. Um, I'll use small zip ties and zip tie it along the original harness here. Come out into the headlight bucket and you should be able to see my finger right there. And that'll be pretty easy. Let's uh, see if our brackets dry and then get running things. All right, so I have harness ran battery up through into the headlight bucket and <laughs> uh, this thing is um, stupid bright uh, it is 40 watts um, which means I have a 5 amp fuse on that fuse holder uh, I am beyond tickled um, I'm going to zip, zip tie up a little bit of wiring and then uh, I'll time lapse it again to put on the side panels um, before I show y'all how I'm mounting it and put it all back together finally for, for real this time. Beyond tickled. This is hilarious to me. Yo, we are so close to being done. Oh man, that was so low at. Oh, well, um, bracket, bolt goes through. I have a little washer in there. Then you put your spacer in. It's gone right in there. Take your 10 millimeter and snug it down real good. Try and keep it level. I want to turn on you. Yeah. There you go. Um, this is the hardware that came with the light. Um, it is just a uh, four millimeter head Allen's. Tuck our excess up there. I'm gonna have to remember how I had this one. Okay, yeah, we had it like that believe I had the cable going on top of the bracket out the back. Okay, just put that ready and in there. That's how it's lined up. Here. Sorry for the back of my head there. Okay. And that. 
<laughs> it was awesome. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that was kind of stupid. All right, so I haven't made the bracket yet. <laughs> what just happened was, uh, well, let me get my camera out here. So I believe what just happened was, I haven't made the bracket yet, and my switch just shorted out on the frame and blew my fuse. So I'm gonna replace that, and then we'll be right back with the final shot. Uh, yeah, I definitely blew a fuse, but that's okay. I have spares, and that is a great reminder to actually use fuses when you're doing any kind of electrical work on a motorcycle. That is what they're there for. Um, I just wrapped some tape, uh, gaff tape, electrical tape, whatever, around the switch for now. Um, we're not going to get to the bracket in this video. I'm thinking actually instead of doing it with that uh, piece of galvanized strapping I had, I'll end up um, 3D printing something instead that'll fit a little bit nicer between the triple trees. Right now, I just have it kind of tucked up in the cluster between the cables where they enter. Um, <laughs> this thing's stupid. Uh, I'm gonna clean up the garage and then uh, shut the door, turn off the lights, and we'll compare stock headlight and this. Um, before I do that though, uh, you may have seen me using this throughout. This is a Motion Pro JIS T, uh, T handle. Highly recommend if you're doing any work on these that you're using JIS bits, Japanese Industrial Standard, rather than Phillips. Um, they are a huge help. Uh, they're cut sharper so they don't cam out as much. Um, the angle of the wall is going in. And I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> you don't need to go into that, but JIS is great for these. Um, yeah, not bad for 30 bucks and uh, random crap I had sitting around, so. <laughs> uh, stick around for another few seconds for uh, data or for headlight versus this, and um, I'll see you in the next video. This is this is silly. I love it. I love it. All right, I'm up on the center stand bike uh, with the standard headlight here. Actually, it's a little low, but I think that's because of the center stand. Um, Let's, let's turn this on. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is uh, brighter than the stock headlight. Oh, this makes me so happy. <laughs> Highly recommend best 30 bucks I've spent in a very long time. I'll see you all later.